let's look at the slight evolution and let's try to uh, start from a much broader um, uh, much broader uh, theme so this is basically we have tried to uh, to come up with uh, how the technology has evolved over the time and how it has impacted various industries so over here if you'll see it's the automobile industry which has changed from the shop floor where you had hundreds of thousands of workers factory workers who were working and which were replaced by giant robots over the over the century uh, then you had computing uh, revolution where you had uh, the movement from calcul uh, calculators or before that probably abacus so from there we had now computers which can do a lot of things within a minute's time or rather within mic uh, microseconds of which we would have tried to uh, do in probably minutes using calculators or probably a lot of things that you could not have done similarly the smartphones um, you can see this is this is all the things which uh, are now uh, for probably 25 years back uh, you need a, a separate gramophone a separate speaker a camera a computer all of those things which are now covered within this small piece of device which is your smartphone right so so this is just to give you an idea on of how the industry has changed um, or, or rather how the technology has changed the various industries and same is true for the trading industry as well where we have come from the trading pits where we had something like this uh, till few decades back uh, to something like this so this is essentially a new age trading pit right so where um, um, you do not have a lot of hue and cry you do not have uh, uh, emotions running up and now up and down and you just have machines which with a silent as, as much silence as possible maybe uh, excuse the buzz a bit so uh, so the buzz of the servers in the data centers or in the co-location facilities but this does as much trades or probably thousand times more trades as uh, the most busiest pit which used to do probably 25 years back till 25 to 30 years back so this has been uh, this has been the move so so the idea of this is, is to show you that um, Algorithmic trading is not something unique. It is something, um, some the change. It is some change which technology has brought across all industries. And same is true for the algorithmic trading. Uh, one parallel that a lot of people draw, or uh, a lot of people at times actually complain, is uh, algorithmic trading is um, causing uh, people losing jobs, or the manual traders going out of business, or um, uh, people uh, more efficient people winning the game. So now the thing is that the same thing happened in each and every industry wherever so say there was a industry giant called Nokia here right so I don't know if um, uh, how many uh, what is the market share now of Nokia but um, uh, post the invention of uh, the smartphones I think uh, that just dropped probably uh, just a fraction of what they used to have right so similarly in automobiles also the Japanese um, uh, car makers or the German car makers who uh, came up on top and trumped a lot of uh, other um, developed market uh, automobile industry so it just happened because they and uh, they endorse the technology, they endorse the change, uh, and tried to learn uh, the new skills, innovate it, and also um, uh, while learning those skills, they also uh, put the focus on implementation. Right. So same thing has been happening over the past decade, especially in the trading and the trading side as well. Um, and it is not just limited to the to the uh, to the developed markets now. It is there in almost all the leading markets be it emerging markets as well as the um, as well as the, uh, the developed market 